Hey you guys, I am back with another video and I am so glad you are able to join me today. Um, I would like to say thank you for coming into Lena's Kitchen. Um, I, I appreciate my new subscribers. I see you guys. I do read the comments. And for my day ones, like my daughter say, subbies and cutties. So to my subbies, I thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I'm just going to make some homemade sloppy joe and some french fries so I can get out of here. So come on guys, come on in my kitchen, shut my dough, and let's do this thing here. I already had my vegetables on because I did start my camera earlier and um, it cut off on me. So I'm starting it over again and my, uh, my um, vegetables is already cooking. Bell pepper, onions green bell pepper, onions, garlic, and red bell pepper. Okay, so now I'm about to put my hamburger in. And I did wash my hands, y'all, which y'all probably didn't see it, but I did wash my hands. And it smells so good. And the gentleman that um, I got the recipe from, um, I have forgot to write his name down. But uh, I am going to get his name. And I'm going to give him a shout out because this is something that I got off his page. And I don't believe in stealing people um, recipes and stuff like that. And if I do make a recipe that come off their page, I will salute them. And, um, you know, get them a shout out and let them know that I tried the way, you know, their meal, the way they cook it, and how if I like it or not. Okay, so we're going to let this cook, you guys. So, now we're going to rinse this bowl out. And wait for the hamburger to get done. Then I fix my french fries. I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. Because I know I have. And I always say that, but I really have. Because I just be so at peace. You know? Just enjoying the littlest things. Trying to keep positive energy. And I hope you guys all feel the same way. You know, as far as with the positive energy. It keeps your balance. Okay, you guys, so I did, like I said, I fixed the coleslaw already. And this is my coleslaw, you guys. Um, and it tastes really well. Really good. Real great taste. It's really good, you guys. And what I put in here, I just put sugar, um, mustard, Miracle Whip, black pepper, Italian seasoning, a little um, lemon pepper, and um, that was basically it. Yeah, that was it. And it tastes good. So I'm about to put this back in the refrigerator because I would like for the juices to get a little more thicker. So I can put it on my sloppy chop. Well, guys, my daughter, she did leave today. She started her new journey. And um, she's upstairs resting. I wanted her to help me film, but she's like, I'm tired. So um, it may be a little difficult for me for a minute until I get the swing of things here because... I don't know how to work this stuff, you know. So, um, and I don't want to keep bothering her because she has to work me. So, I'm going to stir this, you guys. Stir this. I'm back. And this smells so good. I was just going to make the regular Sloppy Joe. 
like this, you guys. I was gonna make the regular in the can, but I was like, girl, you could go on here and do better than that. You could do better than the can. So that's why I said I'm gonna take a chance and cook this meal and see how it turn out. And it's something different for me. I never, like I said, I got someone else's recipe. But it's something new and different for me and for my family instead of the uh, sloppy joe in the can. Because I never made homemade sloppy joe before. So. But here I am. So I have this in here. And I was going to make some homemade french fries, you guys. Uh, with the skin on but I decided I'm just gonna keep it real simple tonight and get her done and these are the crinkle french fries just some basic frozen french fries you guys I know y'all see my lip gloss and I'm getting hot things is everywhere but go get that so back to this it's coming along really well and if y'all hear any noise that's just my fan cause baby when I had this stove and this oven on, which I don't have my oven on now, but my kitchen is so small, it don't take nothing for me to get high. So, if y'all hear the fan, please excuse the noise. But your girl got to do it, baby. Show do. I said, when I get to like... I said when I get to like a thousand subscribers, then I'm going to go live. I want to go live. I want to mingle and chat with some of my subscribers. So I just, I'm just going to wait. And I have a mark. And my goal is to make it to 500 within, I say, a month. I don't think that's bad. 500 within a month so October I want to be at 500 and then by the end of the year I, I at least want to make my peak of a thousand yes yeah, so help me support me you guys so I can get her done okay so what I'll be using with my sauce I have wrote me a little um list of things that he had used because I can't really remember it by Barbados. So, I will be using ketchup. I'll be using Worcestershire sauce. I will be using um, Dijon mustard. And I have the lean ground beef. Then you have salt. And then you have black pepper. Now, what I'm going to do, because I always got to do something different. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add honey um, to help sweeten up the taste with the sugar. So, I'm going to equal it out half and half. Um, and we're going to see how it goes from there. And frying my french fries, you guys, I'm using coconut oil. Coconut oil, when you're going to fry, now I know, I, I haven't, I wasn't able to find the large coconut oil. I don't know what's going on, but I have been going to stores and I haven't been able to find it. I don't know if people are using it for health ingredients because it's very um, versatile and you can use it for other purposes besides cooking with. So, I was able to find this. This is not cheap, you guys. So, I said, I'm, since I'm making these type of french fries, I'm going to use sim something a little refined and a little more healthier than the cooking oil that I would normally use. Because I'm already eating processed french fries, and then I got um, cooking oil. So, we're not about to do that. 
Okay, so you guys, if you can come with me. I hope I got it focused right. So, it's coming along. I'm going to taste it. Let me wipe myself up. You got to make sure you ain't got no stuff in your food. Like they said, if you putting body parts in food, baby. Check your food. But anyway. Um... I'm not gonna add no more seasoning to it. It do taste a little bland. But by this being my first time fixing it, I don't wanna add too much. So I'm gonna wait until I make my sauce. And then I'm gonna add. So, it's almost done, you guys. I really appreciate y'all coming to Vizalina's Kitchen today. I asked y'all to give me a like. Get, get them likes up, y'all. Y'all watch my video. Give me a like. It ain't gonna do nothing. It's, it's not gonna cost you. It's no harm. Just, um, give me a like, baby. I would appreciate it. Even if you don't, um, subscribe. If you like it, just give me a like. Now, it says one cup, we're going to get this ready, one cup of water, well actually two, you just use one at one time, so I'm just going to put two in there. Okay. Mmm. And it's hot. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take it out. Bring it closer, you guys, so y'all can see. Okay, y'all, this is my hamburger. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to make my sauce. And what I'm going to add is butter. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. Because I'm making a sauce. Then, I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce. I say that's about like half of a cup. I have my Dijon mustard. raw honey and I put like a, a tablespoon and a half of Dijon I mean yeah Dijon mustard um I'm gonna use they say three fourths and then if I have to add any more then I will okay and then brown sugar and they say you have to add Two tablespoons of brown sugar but if you need to add more and I also go ahead and cut my iron for my french fries okay so this this is one and it's gonna be two and if I had to add some more to sweeten it up then I will but I shouldn't have to because I have the honey. So let's stir this up. Let's see what's going on. I had to cut it off. So what I'm doing is just making a sauce. And then I'm going to add my hamburger. Just like you would add. You would cook your hamburger first. Then you add just your mix. So... 
This is something totally different for me, you guys. Mmm. Okay, I'm waiting for my cooking oil to get hot. Y'all, this kind of good here. Guys, I'm back. My camera had went out. I don't know what happened. But I was on my sauce. Mm. So what I'm going to do, you guys, is add my meat. My hamburger. And if I have to add any more sauce, then I will. Can you just mix it in good, you guys? And you always can add some more sauce to this, but you really don't have to because. By you having the honey and the sugar, it makes it thicker. So you don't, and it's already combined with um, with sugar and honey, so it's sweet enough, it's thick enough. So I don't think you have to add anything else. Let me taste it. It was hot, y'all. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. Y'all, that's really good. Okay, so now so I'm cutting this off because it's ready and it's done. Put the top on. Now, I add my french fries. So, I had already seasoned these french fries, you guys. Uh-oh. I already seasoned them. I'm going to put them all in there. We're gonna let that cook. Okay. Cleaning my dishes up. So my fish bag get ready to knock the plate up. I'll be organized. Y'all would not have to worry about that. It's just a little stressful because I don't have to know how. But I gotta learn. I got all this stuff in my cabinet. So I'm going to toast my buns, guys. Ooh. I'm going to toast, toast my hamburger buns. So they have a little crunch to them. And not so much of even a crunch. I just like to do it so I can glaze the top of it. And it be warm. It be kind of cooked. They have a little crunch to it. But not much. So, I hope you guys try out this sloppy joe because it is really good. I was very skeptical of trying this because I never tried anything else. If it was a flop, that would be okay too. But, it's not y'all. I know y'all see my fingernails. My two fingernails, my fingernails came off. But, I, I think I glue them back on. But anyway, we're going to check on these french fries, y'all. Oh, my goodness. So, I hope everyone had a good, prosperous day today. 
Um, if you went to work, I had. I hope you had a good day at work. Um, if you went to school, if you go to school, I have all um, adults watching my channel. So I'm really not talking to teenagers, but I see I do have a couple of teenagers that watches my channel. And I thank you guys for being interested in my um, dishes. I hope um, you try it one day. Everyone try it one day. At least let me know how it tastes to you guys. It may taste good to me, but it may not taste good to you. And I understand that. So that's why I would like for you to leave something in my comments, meaning that you done tried the dish. That breeze feels so good, y'all. But that you done tried one of my dishes. Yeah. So, I'm just waiting for the fish fries. You know what I did, y'all? Now, y'all know if y'all put a lot of fish fries in the grease. Y'all know what happened. It got to be all right back up to that hot temperature. So that's what I'm waiting on, y'all. And I'm also waiting on my um, buns. So I can plate up and we can get out of here. You know, I ain't trying to keep y'all all night. But I do appreciate y'all very much. I love y'all company. So I'm not complaining. Hey, guys. I'm back. And I have a finishing plate. And this is my Sloppy Joe with coleslaw, pickles, and a couple of french fries on the side. Um, I thank you very much for watching my video. I ask you to like, share, and subscribe. And from Lena's Kitchen to yours, I hope you have a blessed night. And I just want to say, y'all, this is my first time doing this video by myself. And I know this may be a flop, but my food is good. And y'all, I'll see you later. Have a good night and stay blessed.